think uh, people assume too readily that we are on the path to democracy, that we're democratizing at a, a very, very fast rate. It's nothing like that at all. If anybody takes the trouble to read the Constitution, they will be able to understand why we cannot become a genuine democratic society with such a constitution in place. Amid all the, the positive developments that we've seen um, in the last couple of years in your country, there are also some very troubling ones. And I'm thinking particularly of this wave of ethnic violence that has um, targeted Burma's Muslim community. What is your view of what's been happening there? Some people are calling it ethnic cleansing. No, no, it's not ethnic cleansing. It's uh, it's a new problem, and yet the, it's uh, linked to old problems as well. I would like to make the point that there are many moderate Muslims in Burma who have been well integrated into our society, but these problems arose last year. And I think uh, this is due to fear on both sides. And this is what the world needs to understand, that the fear is not just on the side of the Muslims, but on the side of the Buddhists as well. But you would accept, wouldn't you, that the vast majority of the victims of the violence have been Muslims? There is evidence that they have been yes, systematically Muslims targeted. Have been, uh, m Muslims have been targeted, but also Buddhists have been uh, subjected to violence. But there's fear on both sides, and this is what is leading to all these troubles. And we would like the world to understand that the reaction of the Buddhists is also based on fear. You, I think, will accept that there's a perception that Muslim power, global Muslim power, is very great. And certainly that is a perception in many parts of the world and in our country too. So it is this fear. about fear on both sides. You would accept, though, that the scale of the suffering is not equal on both sides. There are something like 140,000 Burmese Muslims displaced from their homes and living in camps. They're the ones who are bearing the brunt of this violence. I think there are many, many Buddhists who have also left the country for various reasons. And there are many Buddhists who are in refugee camps for reasons for various reasons. You will find them in Thailand, very many of them, and you will find them scattered all over the world. This is a result of our sufferings under a dictatorial regime. And I think uh, if you live under a dictatorship for many years, people don't learn to trust one another. A dictatorship generates um, a climate of Distrust but people have to take suspicion. responsibility for their actions. Of course, don't this they? is and what the government has to do to make sure that there's accountability. This and is it why. doesn't seem as if the government is making people accountable at the moment. I'm thinking particularly yes. of the of the Buddhist monk Wiratu, who used to be in prison but was then let out, and now he's a very popular, influential figure. He he goes around um, spouting what really is hate speech, talking about Muslims being like dogs and and blaming them for for stealing um, Burma's women and things like that. Do you condemn that kind of hate speech? I condemn hate of any kind, and you're right when, uh, when you say that the, account, uh, the the government has not been playing a responsible part in this. And uh, I would very much like to urge you and others to ask the government what their policy is and what they're trying to do or what they're doing or not doing to make this to improve the situation we have said from the very beginning that rule of law is essential it's imperative because before people can sit down and sort out the differences they have to feel safe and if they think that they're going to be killed in their beds they're not going to talk about harmony or learning to understand one another so i would say that instead of asking us, the members of the opposition, what we feel about it, what we intend to do about it, because we, you must uh, see that we are not in a position to do the thing, sort of things that a government must do. You should ask the present government of Burma what their policy is, how they are going about this problem, how they intend to deal with it. Personally, what have been the difficult things to adjust to in, in the course of the last couple of years for you? Your, your life has changed immeasurably. Quite frankly, I don't think that I'm adjusting to anything uh, very extraordinary. New, new situations, but no more extraordinary than the ones that I've had to face over the last 25 years. But picking up the pieces of family relationships, relationships with friends, having contact that you were denied for so long? Real friends, you can always pick up at any time. Uh, the friends that are not so true, they, fall, they fell away a long time ago when it was dangerous to be close to me. But then on the other hand, some come back, and I accept that. I accept that uh, you can't uh, expect people to be uh, outspoken or brave all the time.